Good morning from 2024 Sun and Fun. I'm Marshall Hagland, the marketing manager and company pilot for Waco and Junkers Aircraft. And we are standing in front of our newly unveiled Junkers A50 Heritage model. If you look off in the distance there behind me is the Junkers A50 Junior, which we launched last year at Sun and Fun 2023. Um, it's powered by the Rotax 912 IS. Um, it has a polycarbonate windscreen. Um, it's got the full suite of Garmin avionics. And we got some feedback from our customers after launching that and after putting it into production. Something that was most notable um, in terms of feedback was our choice of the redesign for the power plant. The voice of the people wanted that tradition and that, um, that uh, iconic front end that was originally designed with this aircraft um, in 1929. So that's what we did. We went back to the drawing table and we were able to source from Werner in Czechoslovakia, the Scarlet 7 uniform radial engine. Um, the original Junkers A50 Junior had a five cylinder. This is our seven cylinder. It gives us 125, 124 brake horsepower. Um, and then to finish it off, MT Propeller built us a beautiful dark wood stained with antique white painted tips. Uh, fixed pitch wooden prop for us. So it, we feel like it finishes up beautifully, keeps the tradition alive. Over here you can see that we've got the spoked wheels covered in a beautiful, um, almost like a spun aluminum cover. Encloses the spoked wheels and gives it kind of a performance uh, look and feel. The struts are also encompassed in these uh, fairings that give it the streamlined look. Um, going up top you'll notice what looks like maybe a single seater but in fact it's a cover to cover the front cockpit area. The windscreen that would be there is now removed but of course when you have a passenger in the front you would have the windscreen installed and the hard cover removed. So we're here on the left side, the entry side, but um, you'll notice the the beautiful wood strips for getting up and into the aircraft and we've mirrored that on the right side as well. Um, gives it a nice symmetrical look and allows passenger entry or egress on either side of the aircraft. We've got our leather trimmed pilot's seat and the most notable thing that sticks up in the air is this recreated aluminum built and constructed glass two-piece windscreen. It goes back to the original drawings, um, the, the look it would have had when it first took flight in 1929. Another thing that's not as obvious but is just as important is the all round gauge instrument cluster. And so while we have some, uh, some significant upgrades and changes to this model from the Junior, there are plenty of sim similarities. Um, the wing profile, the control surfaces have all remained untouched. We also have the same robust main landing gear as well as the tail wheel setup. Um, the fuselage remains the same exact profile. Um, and of course the safety features like lighting, avionics, uh, ELT, and the Galaxy Ballistic Parachute. 